So, we have a brain. This is a sheep brain, and they have been working on removing the dura mater so we can see the, all the different hemispheres and the landmarks of the brain. So, they're going to just work. I'm going to come back to them in a second. Just get an idea. What we want to expose is... Uh, we're going to take the dura mater off here so we can see things like the three central little gyrus. The gyrus is the part that is elevated here. The focus is the deeper part. So I go down and then if you have, so further down you'll see a figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at our progress. Open and we're going to want to see these like this, these like this. We're not actually going to do a section like that, but that's where we're trying to go. So, On this part right here. Right here. Yeah. You're the game, you're the game. It wasn't me, it was you. So, uh, you realize we had to tell me to record it, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm just re standing here for like a million times. Not really. Not really. Just a little scratch. We're not trying to save the patient, so we'll be okay. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna. They're gonna keep working. We're gonna pause the video and come back and check the progress later Okay, so, back up your group. So, what we are trying to see is we're going to identify all the parts of the brain. So, I'll do this. I'll, uh, what they've done is they've removed the dura mater. So, now, as you can see, the optic chiasma. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again, and I'm going to I'll put this away. You guys, and then point and add this to the video. I'm just going to point out different structures. So, I'll need this so you can clean out these utensils. All right? Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're back uh, from videotape. And we paused for a second. Now let's go, the students remove the dura mater. That's this tough membrane. And let's get a little frame of reference here. And so what we're going to do is go back and forth between here and the PowerPoint. And one of the things you can see right here is what's referred to as the longitudinal fissure. So let's talk about these things called gyrus and sulci, which you can't really see unless I actually kind of dig down and remove the pia mater, which got removed. But let's go ahead and go to the, let's go back to the PowerPoint for a sec. All right. So you just saw me point out something called the longitudinal fissure. fissure. Go down one slide, and we'll come back. So that's what we. So the longitudinal fissure, what you just saw. The longitudinal fissure, which you're seeing here. Um, get your frame of reference, and let's go up one slide. Okay, so if you look over here, the gyrus is this outcropping here, and then this down, when it curves down, remember this is flat tissue. Like if you were to draw a line right here, it would be like a flat tissue, and then you, some curves down, and that's what makes the gyrus versus the, the, the sulcus. And then, when a sulcus that goes really deep is referred to as a fissure, and if one or one that goes across. So go back to the oh, go back to the. So this right here, that's the longitudinal fissure. So it's a deep sulcus. These are the gyrus that you can see here. So we're going to switch. You've got this is a anterior view. This would be an inferior view. You can see the optic chiasma. This is optic nerve, nerve the cranial nerve number two. Okay, and then you can see down here you'll see the pons and the medulla oblongata and the cerebellum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the PowerPoint one second. Go down. 
So what we just looked at, well, this is the superior view. And now let's do this. We're going to go down one more slide. And, oh, okay, so we'll, let's change views here. So back to the PowerPoint and back to the video. Okay, so we have right here, this is a cross section. So we took this brain, or a brain like this, we didn't actually cut this one. We did what's called a mid sagittal cut. And now we see a medial view. And I'm going to kind of close the video in a second. You can see the cerebellum right here. You can, and you can spot, you can see the, right here, the thalamus. On top of the thalamus, here's the corpus callosum here. And then if you open up, these are the lateral ventricles. All right, there are uh, a couple different angles we look at. So let's go back to the PowerPoint for one sec. Go down a slide. Okay, let's go one more. Okay, so these ventricles, if you look here, what I just did on the actual sheet frame is I was looking up and seeing this cavity. That's going to be your left and right lateral ventricles as opposed to what's called the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle. So the third ventricle, if you look right here, is on top of the thalamus. There's the thalamus. And then you'll look down here, you'll see follow the arrows to the fourth ventricle. And the cerebral spinal fluid runs through. So I'm not going to get a talk on cerebral spinal spinal fluid yet, but this is just a general idea. Let's go back to the back up to the sheet brain picture and on the PowerPoint. One more. Okay. So and we'll go back to the actual live view here. And then, so that's what I was trying to show. This is one of the lateral ventricles. All right, you can just get our different frame of references here. Um, this was the other side here. So this is the right hemisphere. This is the le uh, left. Oh, actually, just, you can call this the right side. This is the left side. Remember, these are connected by the corpus callosum. That's why information goes back and forth to the different hemispheres through that. So, all right, there's your dissected brain. Here's the dura mater removed and non-sectioned. Here's your section one. And that's going to conclude our video for today. Go ahead and stop.